Beth Chrisman is a handwriting expert who specializes in forensic handwriting analysis. Can she do fonts too? Because Comic Sans looks totally innocent, but I think that means it's hiding something. Anyway, take a look. This is the plaintiff, Nabil Muscatwala. He suspects his roommate maliciously altered a note left on the fridge. The defendant, his roommate Matt. The judge, Nabil in a wig. He's really trying his best. Honorable Judge Muscatwala. And most importantly, the expert, Beth Grisman, forensic handwriting analyst and document examiner. By meticulously scrutinizing variations in slant, capitalization, pen lifts, and tons of other unique writing characteristics, Beth identifies forgeries and discovers the authorship of important documents, wills, and even graffiti. I love to help people. I love to find the truth. And the idea of speaking for documents who cannot speak for themselves. Today, Beth is going to use her scientific detective skills to crack the case of Nabil's note. This is STEM court. The science is real. The people are not actors. Except Nabil, who is a pretty good actor with surprising range and depth. I ended up using three of my roommate's eggs. I wrote a note and put it on our fridge that said, hey Matt, I used three of your eggs. But the next day I came back and I noticed something weird. It said that I owed my roommate eight eggs, milk, and a loaf of bread. Interestingly, it also shows that I signed the note, which I'm 99% sure I didn't do. And it all looks like my handwriting, so I'm pretty confused. The first step to determining if a document has been altered or forged is analyzing the writing of the suspected author. I have brought along a known sample of Matt's writing, this card. I also provide a quick sample of what my writing looks like. Using her training, Beth analyzes a dozen distinctive characteristics of the letters and words and how they are formed and written, like these M's. Matt puts a stem on his M's. Sometimes the stem retraces the next stroke formation. Sometimes it just stands out by itself. The fact that they are super different doesn't necessarily rule out Matt. No one person writes exactly the same way twice, and no two people write alike. We have to look at both M's that Matt wrote because that shows his range of variation in writing. The next step is comparison, where she takes her new knowledge of Matt's writing style and compares it to suspected alterations in my note. When we look at the word milk, we can see a tiny little stem on the left-hand side that falls within the range of variation of Matt's writing. Outside of the similarities between how the words are written, she also analyzes other suspicious things about my note. In the milk and the loaf of bread, we can see that they do appear kind of crunched. Objection! Can I call objections? What are the rules? <clears throat> so this eight has different pen lifts and really no fluidity. Definitely this note could have been written at different times because it's not very consistent writing. Beth has already learned a lot about the case just with her naked eye, but the details really come alive under her special microscope. This microscope not only greatly magnifies the subtle details of the documents and writing, it also helps Beth see beyond the limits of human vision. It has built-in IR and UV lighting, so infrared and ultraviolet lights. This UV and IR lighting help Beth check if any different inks were used in the note. Here's our number eight. <gasps> we can see with either level of infrared lighting that the ink you use is absorbing all of the red. So whoever changed the three to an eight wrote milk. They also wrote the loaf of bread. But with the ultraviolet light, we're about to break this case wide open. Oh my goodness. There is another ink on this page. I also added a few more things for you to pick up if you don't mind. I think I know what happened. I must have left my disappearing ink pen in the kitchen. And when Matt's pen ran out, he must have used that to turn my note into a grocery list. <laughs> I think you saved yourself a big argument. Thank you so much for solving my case. And thank you for showing me the world of forensic document analysis. The court rules in favor of science. Case dismissed. <laughs>